Guess what? It is episode 69, our favorite episode uh, ever. We're going to be so mature. Uh, as mature as we were in episode number two. That's on the show. Dun, 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 music. It's Saturday night. It's 7 p.m. It's now time for Transformers The Show. So on today's show, uh, we've got all the news uh, pickups, uh, plus we've got discussion about the perfect Transformer. But first of all, the news. News. I talk some TV, and now the news. Don't touch that dial. So this is uh, the Transformers news, but not a lot of Transformers news, certainly not figure-wise this week. So we had this news of some of the Transformers Studio Series figures for 2022 with their UPC numbers, so we're assuming these are accurate. So you've got Deluxe Generation Studio Series uh, Deluxe uh, Brawn. Is that Bumblebee Brawn then? Because it's not um, Movie 86, is it? No, it's from the Bumblebee film. The one at the start, you see you get gunned down at one point again. Mm. I think he gets yeah. hit in the shoulder again as well, which was a nice little nod to the original movie. Um, you've got uh, Ratchet, which again is saying from Bumblebee, uh, Transformer 6, but, uh, which is Bumblebee. So the Ratchet that we see in there, which is kind of cool. It'd be interesting to see how that works out. Nice. Uh, we've got Studio Series 8, the Deluxe 86 Perceptor. So he's going to be a Deluxe size. Although I'm not really too bothered about whether he was Deluxe or Voyager because there's not a hell of a lot of difference in the sizes now. Um, yeah. So I'm happy enough with that. Just if give us a blaster. Happy. We've already had so many. Good I know. Characters. I know. I thought blaster would be on here, to be honest. But anyway, uh, as far as also... deluxe is that is deluxe a car? Yes. That's a laugh. Actually, question. It was, it's an open yeah. question. That's a laugh at me. I was going to say, where did that laugh come? <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> was, that was on one of mine. It sounded was a bit me? like Emily, so it might have been my Emily, but I've got no idea where she is. <laughs> it sounds like she's in the room. <laughs> I'm scared. Move towards the light. If you can hear us now, move towards the light. Oh my god, it's poltergeist all over again. For the third time. Right. Um Studio Series Dogs. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. It's communicating. Can you hear that one? Yeah. Whatever she's doing, she's having a whale of a freaking time. Um, she's obviously not watching this. Um, so we've got Generation Studio Series Deluxe Transformers 6 Wheeljack. So again, she's watching Alexis last week. Wheeljack. <laughs> Uh, trying to figure out how many pints he did. Um, we, we all still are. Uh, then the Voyagers. So we've got Soundwave, which again is the one from the Bumblebee movie. Um, I wonder if it will resemble that. Uh, uh, Do you know the theorist. star scheme is quite good? So I'm actually looking forward to it. Yeah, and star I'll... scheme is a oh, really mm. good one to transform. I, I, I wonder if it'll come with Ravage. Because obviously in Bumblebee, he had the Ravage that jumped out, or whether they'll do that as a separate figure. Well, I don't know, but I'll tell you what, even the little Bumblebee is, I mean, they're so delicate, but there's, I'll, I'll be, I'm, I'm thinking of taking some photos and doing some photos of them. I did some today, and they're just wonderful to pose. I just mm -hmm. didn't realise how um, nimble and articulate they really are, you know, well, the articulation. We've also got coming a Retgar retool uh, into Junkyard. And for the leader, it's the one where I think most of us knew about anyway, which is the 86 movie uh, Starscream, King Starscream with capes. So he'll come with all that regalia he had on just before he got blown to smithereens oh. by Galvatron. Spoiler coronation there. cream. Yeah. Yeah, so, the, Coronation you know, Chicken. The, 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 the sound wave, the free, is it free LX, DLX? The, the, the yeah, that's what I was wave. thinking of. You, you can actually get, so, the, the, so you get ravaged with that. Which is the movie verse one, they, the, the B verse one, uh, and Ravage in that actually does transform and go into his chest. It's quite cool, and he does then come out as a as a cube almost. We um, need a new Ravage. The last one was awful. The, the yeah, it looked like a poodle. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't good. Poodle with a bad haircut. And That's poodles right. Poodles don't like bad haircuts. I can tell you. Uh, Takara are releasing some what they believe they're calling premium edition versions of. Uh, I think it's the movie figures. Um, there's no release date yet on these. Um, there's no confirmed release or price, but some of the pictures have uh, got out there somehow. So apparently they're going to have some kind of premium paint job on them and come in a fancy box. Whether there's any other difference with the figures that we've seen in Studio Series, we'll have to wait and see. But um, So there's Bumblebee that's been leaked. Okay. And 
what appears to be the Siege Optimus Prime mold. They love that mold, don't they? Yeah. They do. No one else does. A bit like Takara. Um, I don't like the green like Hasbro with it's Megatron, like, sorry. The green windows looks like someone's done a swimming mm. much cooler in then. Although, weren't, weren't his windows in the cartoon series that kind of green? No. On Cybertron? No. Are you sure? I don't care. I'm just saying <laughs> no. <laughs> It doesn't <laughs> matter <laughs> if it's true. Although, look on the box. On the box, the blue, the windows. Yeah. So maybe it's well, just the light. Maybe it's someone who's well, colorblind that's done this and my heart bleeds for them, but yeah, it's wrong. Oh, we'll get them some of those nice glasses. We all joke about this, see, but Paul Farrell... I think Paul Farrell is colorblind to we'll, some extent. We all we'll, we'll joke about this, but Paul Farrell was just turning around going, oh, that box is quite nice. I wonder where it could... Um, yeah, this well, is we'll Paul fit in. Is it, it, again, you know, Shit, Transformer. When you, pay, <laughs> when you pay an extra 20 quid just for a fucking box... <laughs> Well, we all know that Paul, uh, as was revealed last week, Paul uses those boxes to disguise how drunk he is, apparently. So yeah. we'll need some more. And then the only other kind of really, is it big news? But it is kind of, I suppose, is that um, the Netflix exclusive uh, Sparkless Seeker and the Netflix Cheetor and all of those, that kind of uh, wave of the Netflix figures have appeared here in the UK at retail at toys. Smith's, yes. which um, was Incredible and, and shocking actually, news to you, Johnny. Funny enough, I've ordered another Netflix <laughs> tutor, you know, so that should arrive next week when I can show it. Excellent. You know, so I'm looking forward to your shortcuts there, mate. Your shortcuts. I actually have three cheetahs, but yeah. And that is all of the mainline news, I'm afraid. There's not a lot else going on. Um, quite weak. It, really, it was a really quite weak. I noticed that in our news feed that there was literally one photo that anybody had shared. And at first I thought we'd just all been really lazy and then I had to look on <laughs> some of the websites. It was, no, there's not, not a lot going on. Yeah. 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 Bank, all, bank holiday Monday, wasn't it? Bank holiday on... Hmm. Yeah, everybody had a week off. And they deserve it. So, so that was the uh, mainline news. And we're going to go over to our roving reporter, Alexis, now for the third-party news. Which we're taking directly from the internet because we believe in famous <laughs> sources. Because so. preparation is key. <laughs> <laughs> so first things first we've got Thumbie Studios who made the wonderful octopus from Transformers the movie which you can get in various scales and I don't remember this they made this it's almost like a hippogriff like a it's giant the griffin purple... thing from um, yeah oh god which episode was it, it no Megatron idea. makes it and he's apparently going to destroy the planet with it it looks really good I can't wait to get that <laughs> it looks it looks like something like it looks like it's made of Duplo <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, imagine the, the, the really... hair. The hair looks like it's one of those fucking. Uh, where you get the play doh and you put <laughs> yeah, it through the, <laughs> the yeah. swasher. No, I've made a toy mummy oh. look shit. <laughs> it looks like a play doh. My first masterpiece. Sorry, it if looks you like made a reject. This. It looks it's really. Not, really no, it's, it's I imagine got the quality's potential. really good. The quality's really good, right? But it it looks like a reject from an Iron Maiden. Did you say cover. the quality's really good? Which part? how do you know the quality's really good? <laughs> <laughs> imagine, it, imagine, imagine it. Anyway, right? Is that yeah, right? And then there's. They've also made them um, a blaster tower as Probably well. So they've, watched... so they've um I mean a communications tower, I do believe all it's, it. it's a communications so you... tower with the blaster so if you look tower. At it, Dev Devastator here obviously is eighteen inches. So it is like a proper scaled, you know, one for one scale like of a you know of the actual tower, which was pretty good. And you've got Perceptor in there, it fits in there, he comes out. Unfortunately. Is it a leaning then... tower? It looks pretty good. Is that Titan's Return then, uh, Blaster? Because he's a chunky boy, isn't he? It is. I'm not sure. It looks like him. It's Titan Return he's got that handle thing it? above his head. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Good spot. Yeah. 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 He's a so big boy. Then we boy. have TFC have announced their next wave. So they, they've done the Prime, which is the Jungle jungle Tactical Prime, is it? The, the Nuclear Strike Prime as well. They've done Mega Tank, which is going to be that sort of triple changer, three robots, three mm. bots into one giant robot. And now they've got this Apache helicopter, which is the next rendition of it as well, which comes, which has been out at the moment. There is no price. It's the pre-order from Terry's Fans Club. It's the only place I've seen it all now. And this is the next rendition of Kang Toys. So this is their um, Razor Claw. Claw. So very, very stylized. It almost it looks more like a Zoid, doesn't it? It does look like a Zoid. Those cannons are ridiculously big on his back there. <laughs> It looks Almost from a Zoid, and then do you remember, uh, was it Victory Leo from Star mm. Saber and that, that that yeah, it looks like that more. Like yeah, I get where you're coming so, from. And it's probably the same sort of size as the original KFC version of that. So um, these Kang toys ones are big though, aren't they? You've got a couple of them, haven't you? 
They're fucking huge. They're ridiculous. So if this um, is going to be a combiner, I mean, this thing's going to be massive. Yeah. I mean, the the, the wingspan on, um, what's his name, Dive Bomb, uh, is about 60 centimetres. Maybe Jesus just over 60. Christ. So if you imagine... You're going to be a big, chunky wide, boy. Then... Um, be interesting to see but again no no combined picture that this is it so but he'll look pretty good he, look, he looks very similar actually to the stylized version of that um superior doesn't he which is uh which is made made the rounds as well so which um no more updates than that so that is the third party news nice thank you very much right on to pickups who would like to go first i'll go first oh cheers jamie yeah um so i'm just going to share screen and just get straight into it and oh. so um and um, basically um i'm just going to show some of my sort of pickups but w one thing today is like um i did this week just for fun sometimes is i just because of the bad batch which was released this week um which is um star wars to do with clone characters which have all slight variations and have unique abilities i just thought it would be fun to show the autobot version of the seekers and then basically pay homage to the Bad Batch there, just for a bit of fun there. You know, see, see Tiger and Tracks and you know, Deep Cover. Is that all Cone of them? Boy. Well, actually, this is all of them there. But I was paying homage to the Bad Batch. So I was doing like the five of the sort of characters there. Uh -huh. And I always think of Red Alert as quite a unique character. Ian Boy is the exact same mold as Sideswipe. Mm. You know, where these other guys all seem like clones to me. Mostly it's because like of the color scheme. Yeah, and but he's got different different hornage. So yeah, he's got a slightly different head sculpt. Yeah, but yeah, so it's like, um, yeah, oh yeah, because his horns like different. It's like a bumblebee and um, what cliff jump isn't it? My God, mm. different characters now because the horns different. You know, bumblebees <laughs> rounded, cliff jump yeah. is like. But Transformers fans everywhere, Jamie. Yeah, I'll buy one. It's not easy it is, Hasbro. <laughs> you know, so I'll just quickly show off the other stuff. And so what I got this week, which I actually completely forgot about it because it was Monday, I got these. Um, is I got the Netflix things, which we just discussed in the news, the two sort of like um, special boxes came in of um, a redo of um, Optimus Primal and Bat Trap and um, the Sparkless Seeker, which to me is more like a camouflage seeker. Mm. You know, he doesn't look sparkless at all. He's got a happy face on him, so he's like the happy living dead. You know, he's quite delighted. The two target masters don't look dead either. You know, they just look to me like camouflage seeker. In fact, I would give him just a different name, and and I think the colours work quite well. You know, he's not like the other um, the Autobot sort of sparkless um, seeker, um, sparkless bot because he's you know which looks more like a wooden finish. This one just looks really cool, and an individual character himself. Optimus Primo and Rat Trap, basically the same. A little bit easier to transform. My version of the Netflix is easier to transform. Not mm -hmm. as stiff as the original version, but he has got darker colours. So the Netflix version there is on the right, and the original versions are there on the left. There they are in the original boxes. And there they are transformed. So it's quite amazing to fun. think that Hasbro can just literally slightly change the colours on the figures, stick them in under the box, and we'll still we'll still pick them up as fans because it's it's a variant, isn't it? It's a different version. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, it's like I I, I like to buy two molds sometimes mm. of the same character, and to be honest, I prefer if I can get a different coloured variant because it just adds a bit more uniqueness, gives me another excuse of getting it rather than just oh my god, I've just bought an exact duplicate. You yeah. know, for example, also got this week is um. I've got Dinobot, but hey. I like to have two versions. So I bought the other Dinobot so I could have one transformed in display and the other one in robot form in display so I can mix and match my displays in which ones I have out. So are they, sorry, are they two different versions or you've got two versions? The exact two, same. Uh, yeah, two I would have the same one. You know, yeah. so no doubt there'll be another variant coming out. And if it does, I'll probably get it like I have done with Cheetah. Hmm. Could you but, um, consider getting the um, um, the uh, RED figures for the robot mode and having the the transformable? No, because RED the figures suck. You know. <laughs> they, I mean, I mean, they look. They, they, I think they look good. They they do seem to be. I, I haven't reviewed. I've never watched a review. 
But they, they it I mean, depends what you think of IID because I'm thinking of like the older version, but it's just like awful. The new ones, they're sort of the sort of the, the, the red RID. RED, no, no, red, the red figures. Oh, RED. Oh, sorry. Oh, I said R-E-D. R-E-D. So you said, sorry, you said R-E-D. 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 Yeah, that's why we were throwing Oh, that. sorry. Well, not, oh, no, no, because R-E-D, the scale, because I like these guys because of the scale and RID figures okay. are much like, is it a more like Voyager size? Which okay. would work for Dinobot, so it depends what he is, but they haven't done a Dinobot version of him yet. And I'm not sure they will do. You know, it's a bit hit and miss. I don't think I, the, the red figures have been that popular. But the, the one thing I would say is, you know, when I got this figure, even though he transforms a lot better than my original, you know, the head quality control was a bit out because, you know, there's a little bit of paint splash, which you really can't get at. Very, very minuscule, you know, you have to look at it very closely. But it's, it's just like things like, you know, it just shows you the difference in quality control which sometimes can be quite annoying, you can spoil a figure, but not enough to go to Hasbro to demand a replacement just for the sake of a tiny little bit of um, imperfection in the head. It's just, a, it annoys me when it's a head though, because that's the one bit for photography you tend to focus on, mm. you know, and once you spot it, you can see it, you know, but I just wish, but then, you know, this this figure cost, um, you know, £24, where I guess Alexis, how much would an MP version of this cost? MP version is 190, third party version. Yeah, so, I know. so, oh, yeah, I could deal with that little blue spot. Yeah, <laughs> I take the kingdom all day, all yeah. day, you know. So, yeah, I can survive with that. But, wankers. but, yeah, I mean, the one best <laughs> thing is there the head. If you ever get this figure, it's got one of the best head sculpts I've seen in the world. In fact, Joggers. in fact, Siege and Kingdom <laughs> seem to be doing fantastic head sculpts for nearly all the figures yeah. now. It's just becoming a bit of a standard, as I said before, mini masterpiece. I wouldn't be surprised if the masterpiece line eventually, eventually, well, certainly slows down, maybe even stops. Because and I've, st- I've started to hear other people refer to it as many masterpiece, and I don't know if we should have taken a, I don't know, coin to <laughs> trademark. <laughs> yeah. Most people do. You, you were the first person to ever heard say it. Uh, other people may have said it before us, but if they did, we never heard them. Yeah, yeah. So they don't count. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> <laughs> Contact your solicitors. <laughs> yes, that, that's me finished. Ah, oh, right. What did I get this week? Uh, well, so I've got two weeks worth because I um, I was on last week and Zorider, Richard, thank you for doing an amazing job hosting and trying to keep oh, uh, no, on top oh, of Jamie. Oh, God. I, I got... Oh, oh, God, I haven't got it here. I got Village Isles. 7. Resident, oh. No, no, Resident Evil 8. Village, the Village. All oh, right. For the PlayStation 5. Super scary. Haven't played it yet, but me and Mayland will be playing it tomorrow at some point. Is that VR or just normal? Oh, I got it for the PlayStation 5 in case they do bring out a VR patch. But oh. I tried to play Resident Evil 7 in VR. It didn't I remember really work you out. Talking, yeah. Which, I thought, it was was there one of them you tra- you played and you said that you just crapped yourself? You went, no, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> no, yeah, no chance. <laughs> I knew. Because I had other people say... No, you make this a is, 3D. Yeah, people said... <laughs> Oh, this is really scary. They can't do it. They play it in the normal way. And I said, oh, okay, I'll, I'll, Paper play boy. I'll do this. This will be easy. And I started playing it in VR. And then I went, no, I'm going to stop. <laughs> I'm going to stop. <laughs> you know, I nearly killed myself. So um, I was terrified, actually. I thought I was falling for like, you know, and I screamed for Mayland to come and help me. And Mayland came running towards me. And she put like a fingertip in my shoulder. And I was thinking, no, Mayland, I'm following. You've got to hold me, <laughs> you know, because I, I, they tell you to play in your chair. But for some stupid reason, I thought it would be more fit to play standing up. It's got you know, the image of you stood there in the middle of a room and just slowly fall. I know, because I, <laughs> I, I, I can't explain it, but I had no balance of where I was going. My brain just didn't have a clue. So I was just screaming to Mayland, help. <laughs> no, help me. <laughs> Oh, and I'm getting chased with some sort of vision of you upside down like a turtle <laughs> on your back with your legs in the air going, No, <laughs> help me, Mayland. <Nailin. laughs> Spin me round. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway. Sorry right, for cool. interrupting there, Paul. No, that's fine. No problem. Uh, right. So, what are, so I got nine. Um, I had four PCs. I've now got 19 PCs. I've been collecting PCs off Facebook for like £10 a pop. I'm going to start selling them soon. I've got too many, but it's been amazing taking them apart and fixing them. And, Make them work again. I did get one pickup, which was quite a good transformer thing. There's Unicron there. So he arrived last week just before we went on holiday. So I haven't had a chance to unbox him yet. How um, do you know he's in there? I, do you know what? I don't. 
He'll still have transformed it before you, Alexis. the risk of ordering him from Kapow <laughs> and praying that they put their Transformers in their boxes. Fingers crossed they, they still do that. <laughs> really big heavy. <laughs> just got bricks inside. And you'll never yeah. know. They know it on eBay. It. <laughs> uh, I've got a, um, a GTX 750 Ti uh, for £40. Pounds. I was quite happy to pick that up. So oh. that will be part of my Ultimate XP Windows XP machine build. Uh, oh. Some Packard Bell well, like stuff a, from a there. Nissan GTX. No, <laughs> because that would be a car. And then I got this <laughs> um, Windows XP all in one, oh, which I was okay. quite happy with, which I'm going to convert actually into quite a modern machine. Uh, then you can see just look cheeky little uh, Pentium build behind there. So um, lots of PCs picked up. Oh, yeah, I don't, I I don't get a chance to. No one cares that I pick up these PCs. So that's <laughs> I was what I say. This is what I'm tunes in for. I, 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 PC stands for I police just, I just wondered that with 19, you've almost got enough to create a server, haven't you? Your own server. You know, be amazing. PCs. I was going to sell them and Lisa was happy, but no, that's better. I give <laughs> life, <laughs> life to an artificial intelligence. And now yeah, she'll be or the new Skynet. 19 player red alert. <laughs> mate, mate, you you build those into a server, and Lisa's gonna think you've got no intelligence. Nineteen players, original <laughs> Doom. Oh my god, oh. that would be good. Oh, uh, I think that's it. Actually, I want to get Warpath. I haven't to smash yet. So cool. <laughs> I'll go next. If cool, that's, if Andy. That's you done, Paul? Because I that think uh, Alexis might have something interesting to show. So only one thing this week, and last week I think it was after the show, was it? Uh, Ed. Ed Drew, the wonderful man that is Ed Drew, who was on with us last week and did a great job with uh, Brad, uh, Excelian, XLR, and, of course, Rich Zort Rider. Um, Ed, Bumblejumper82, uh, mentioned he was getting rid of his uh, Takara Legends cup. Uh, and he didn't want a lot of money for it. So I said, oh, yeah, I'll, I'd be interested in that. And then we were chatting, uh, messaging on Sunday, and it turned out he was interested in some movie bots because he collects some of the movie bots so we ended up doing a trade for it so i just sent him what a movie bot i had and uh i received this bad boy and Ooh, i have to admit this. he's yeah, this is the first time i've had him in hand i've seen jamie's because jamie showed it off on the show before and i remember saying at the time it, it does look better well, just there's just it's the paintwork it's the head sculpt it's you know the fact he actually comes with his target master is it fire drive i think the whole thing um just looks and feels better than anything else so i was really chuffed oh and he sent the instructions in this lovely as the jiffy bag so they were nice and protected and it was very well packaged um so thank you very much ed i know we've messaged each other but thank you very much um I'm really pleased with him he has become the uh, the bedside table bot at the moment. And I've had some of my other um, generations chug style target masters as well out. Just kind of uh, look at it again. I still like the Titans Return hot rod. And this may come up in discussion later, but I just like the way they look together. But anyway, yes. So that was you my think You have to get the Takara blur now to go with it. I've, I really do want to pick up the Takara blur. I've actually been trying for a while, but... Um, the problem is just I, I keep missing out on some, and then some of the prices are, are quite prohibitive now. It's up to about 50 quid in a lot of yes, uh, eBay things for him. Wow. So it's just finding what I'm, I don't really want. I don't want to pay massively over the odds. Um, so I'll just be patient and keep looking, and hopefully, one will come up that's a bit more of a reasonable price. Yeah. But, um, but yes. thank quick, you very much, Ed. You're a gentleman. Oh, and if you haven't, uh, uh, anybody who's watching hasn't seen it, check out Ed and uh, Bumblejumper82 and Arrow Fire's uh, video series that they're doing together where they're looking at select episodes of the G1 cartoon because that's very entertaining. Yeah, well. they've just done Carnage and C Minor. Hello, Kat. They have. Yeah. And I suggested um, I suggested uh, a couple of episodes in our little chat, so you never know, we might see a couple of them. Not the Rebirth. I haven't suggested that because I really want to see the Rebirth, but if anybody ever yeah, says... Ever, ever, yeah, if anybody ever says, do you want to see a G1 cartoon episode? I just got the Rebirth, parts one, two, or three. <laughs> stock answer every time. Have you got... Anyway. Then, Andy, have you got the... 86 cup studio 86 cup as well no i haven't I, 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 i've got no interest in picking up because i just cannot it. i don't like the head sculpt at all I, mm. the figure might good. be great but um yeah it's I got just... a good alt mode but that's it it's just i don't like the yeah. robot mode 
It's yeah. easier to pose. The robot mode's really good to pose. But what's the point of being able to pose when you're fucking ugly? You know, <laughs> uh, I often wonder that. <laughs> and, and you and you you could always get um just to say you know perfect bots and all that. And get, instead of getting um blur, you could always go for um type term wheelie. He's just as good. He goes really well with those two. So. Seriously? Yeah, I mean, all wheelie figures are perfect, especially G1. G1 wheelie was just perfect. It's like Titans Return wheelie's <laughs> robot mode. It's all mode was a really mingy transformation. Yeah, it was a pain. Into that. And, and his, sorry, one more question. His joints, are they really tight? Because my oh, yeah, top legs would swing like that. Mine's mine's pretty good, I think, overall. Mine was um, the Hasbro yeah. one, though. Uh, yeah, the Hasbro one. I've got still got the Hasbro one. I, I don't know what I'll do with that one now because Pardon it. he's been used to Get a it, hammer so. out, taste him in the car. Yes. No. Give it to the poor. Me. Here's a cup. <laughs> no, no, not a useful <laughs> cup. <laughs> Titan's Return cup. Yeah. Here Have a good day. <laughs> anyway, so yes, that's it. That's me. Thank you very much. Give it to I might leave you wait till show 69 to uh, start showing us your pissing. <laughs> Door open by mistake. She obviously wants to snuggle. She must be feeling cold. So, uh, what's that? Your cat's name? What snuggle? No, shallow. Because she's act. She acts like a shadow. <laughs> what? Her name she shallow. Like she, she, her name shadow because she acts oh, like shadow. a shadow. Shadow, shadow, shadow not shallow. Shadow. <laughs> no, no. no, shadow. shadow she's really vacuous. She's not. <laughs> she's only no, interested shadow. in looking pretty. She's no depth to her. <laughs> <laughs> She'll keep coming in now because because she's she knows she, she you can see it you can see it tell her around in it. She, oh, yeah. So when the other one comes in. Oh, she's going for fans toys. Quaitus. <laughs> no, she likes the she likes the boxes and the plastic. So, it's, um, yeah, she, she just comes up in all over the box. So doesn't oh. care. Right, so, Alexis. I could should have used her scale to be honest. She's no. <laughs> you did great. Yes, the cat scale was the new, you know. The new thing there you go. Today. So I got um um I got uh I got this. This is Doctor Wu, Doctor Wu, and this is their Wu. version Wu. of Beast Squat Box. Box. Beast Box. Damn. So close. Oh, yeah, Beast Box, which is the Ooh. combination of sound waves, offspring, whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> anyway, so this was, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot what this actually, but it's, it's quite cool. So if I'm going to share a screen, share a screen. Uh, let's get this correct. Oh, no, wrong button. Click on that. And then just move this. There we go. Okay. So it's what it looks like in tape mode as well. You can see it upside down the head, but the other way it looks worse. I thought that's quite cool. Um, the box comes with instructions as well, which are quite interesting. And a couple of little guns that don't fit. Um, but clear instructions as well. Um, so these guys are just hanging out, as you do. And that's the wrong way around. So let me just, they were hanging out. There we go. They were hanging out and then they got harassed by uh, blasters, wow. pets as well, as they do. So they thought, well, fuck you guys. We're going to, we're going to transform and we're going to, we're going to screw you up. So they, they transformed and had a go at them and the uh, little beasties ran away. And then what happened is they got muscled in on by uh, blasters twins. So, uh, and these are, these are the, um, so originally they were this, these are the iron factory it's worth knowing these are the iron factory um blaster bots which are for legends and then we've got here the um they transformed and then we've got the uh um kfc version of blaster bots as well and what happened here was a little fight and uh, and then the blaster bots lost so um this is them scaled so because they, they are officially for siege sound wave um so, but I thought, oh, oh scales in the eye of the holder. So um, here we have the, again, Iron Factory version of uh, um, Iron, Iron Paw, Snarler. What's this one called? Steel Jaw. Raise it. Steel Jaw. Steel Jaw. Steel Jaw. And we've got uh, Fader here. And then we've got um, Rumble, because Rumble's purple. This is, these are the Magic Square bots here. Um, each of these. And then this is New Age up here. New Age. As well, so if you want to see what New Age looks like again, compare comparison, and then Magic Square again, and then we've got the MP version of Laser Beacon, MMC version of uh, Frenzy at the back here. So you can see the variety. All rumble. Various... No, no, it's definitely <laughs> Frenzy. Argument. Definitely Frenzy. When you said the blue, Def the blue blaster tape, what was that? Is, the, is that the company's called Fader, or is that the one no. the third party figures called Fader? 
uh was it rewind and eject isn't it yeah eject so, yeah, blue so, one and rewind oh yeah so yeah so right. fader yeah so fader is yeah the third party so yeah so it's ah. rewind isn't it so um yeah so again the various in scales and this is the same scale as an mp version of um rumble or frenzy so um so again depending on what you want so you can you can you i like it for my potentially for my chug because these two tapes effectively the size of one height tape is there as you can see so pretty cool um so that's the first so that's the first thing i got um i must say the, the plastic feels really nice on him um i'm super impressed he's got little little bends at the knee so you can bend the knee as well um the, the one thing i would say is he comes with these little guns as well which are really tiny little guns and they're meant to like clip on to the other guns but they just don't um for some reason they just don't seem to slot in anywhere they just they're, they're loose so waste of space to be honest but these guns work fine um yeah good articulation it's a space Head like an arsenal defender <laughs> um uh, yeah. yeah it's a bit harsh it, it was nil no, nil, I, I, we defended fine it was the attackers which were a waste of space <laughs> oh dear whatever makes you feel comfortable for uh no ankle rockers on it though yeah, he has, um, the truth <laughs> I like he does have a little, has a little hip skirt. He has got. You can't got handle the, the truth, but that's why you're oh, nice. You like. can't handle the truth. <laughs> Quiet he's girl. He is good. I think, I think, is yeah. his face sculpted like a cartoony? Like when I say cartoony, like um, is is it like a proper robotic face sculpt on the uh, not on the combined mode on the individual bots? Because the gorilla one, the face sculpt looked quite interesting. Oh, it's his butt. <laughs> oh no, his back. Sorry, I, it's uh, sorry. The glare's a little. I don't know why I'm leaning in like an old person thinking that'll make me. <laughs> <laughs> Start that, looking around. To see... <laughs> no. It's so feedy. <laughs> uh, is that accurate then? Yeah. Is that like what the... I thought it was like more, more of a gorilla what? face. But is it accurate to the G1 toy? I don't know. <laughs> well, thanks for, thanks for your input. <laughs> That's well funny. It's, um, no idea. Yeah, it's good. Very good. Very good. And then... Um, Second thing I bought then this week was this guy here. I uh, got a little bit of Magic Square Overlord, aka Motormaster. So I thought it would be quite cool to have Menace or Sham off uh, until I tried filling with him. And then uh, I regretted that because that spent too much of my life. <laughs> but I got a couple of shots in of um, uh, him holding his little buddy here um, in the palm of his hand, which I thought was quite good. Uh, mini me. Almost, and then um, so that's extra transport Spinosaur. I thought I'd put next to because I had them to hand. Um, fans toys, um, uh, Motormaster. There's so many names, <laughs> so shit with names. And then a uh, Wild Rider as well. Um, so I thought they, they, you know, interested to see the the Legend scale versus the the uh, MP scaler as well. Um, so these guys are cruising along as you do, and uh, this is him in, in robot mode. Uh, I must say, actually, I'm very impressed with robot mode. It's got really good articulation, really interesting transformation. Um, it's just very clever. And the plastic, I would say, as I said before, I think the plastic actually on the, specifically on the, um, these bots being the Suntacons, um, has changed. Um, it's different to what you got with um, the, the cliff jumper and the squishy things you got with everything else at Magic Square. This is a different type of plastic, it feels like. It's a more uh it feels like a better plastic quality it doesn't feel like the the sort of i think like the almost the chalky sort of style um much better so it comes with a little sword comes with a big sword comes with a little gun comes with a big gun as well and comes with all the extras and i couldn't do what i wanted to do but i thought i'd tell a small story with him just to show his uh, how how cool he is because you remember the episode when there was the bug and they and then there was it was it the energy draining bug which was going to destroy take all the energy from the planet i think that's what it was and then um, Menasaur at the end was going to, sort of, I think Menasaur at the end, in the end saved the day. So in this one here, uh, Motormaster saved the day. So he uh, he leaps at him with his sword and, uh, you know, they're going to have a, fate, you know, a fatal battle. And um, yeah, Menasaur wins. Sorry, Motormaster wins. So, do, you all, um, do you often think um, the Menasaur character, now the, the reiterations we see of the Menasaur character, um, with the myriad of Menasaur uh, that are out there, do you think they suffered the fact they moved away from the original trailer being part of the actual bot? 
have they lost that because the trailer used to be the bot and was the bot and now people just seem to treat the trailer like Optimus Prime's trailer it's just something which is you know part from and it just disappears when you say lost in what, in what, in what do you mean it's, well just um, like just like Optimus Prime's trailer you know it could maybe turn into a battle base or make Medicine Bay or whatever, but before the bay, the, the trailer was part of the original bot. You know, it didn't... Um, yeah. It varies. So, for example, with the Fans Toys version, that whole trailer actually condenses down into his backpack. So it is, it is one bot, effectively. Um, with DX9 and with x Transports, it's separate. And with um, Magic Square, so, but Fans Toys have kept it true to the original cartoon. So that, that whole... You know, it's the same size as Optimus Prime MP10. That all forms down into one bot. It's got a bit of a backpack on him, but it's all just folded up, and the backpack's like that thick. So it's, it's, it's so if you look at this, for example, this is this is this is the motor mass here. It comes out to about there, probably. But again, if you look at the other result where you get the whole thing folds into a, a truck and a trailer, and you can get cars in there as well, it's like that. That's astonishing. Um, so, um, but just going back to this guy here. He's he's really articulate. Uh, he, he's such a lovely robot. He actually looks like the X Transport spot because again, the X Transports have the f this fold over the back as well. Um, really quite clever how how this folds into this is obviously the, the front of the truck and they fold if if almost sort of, sort of folds round so you can see it uh, if I did it the right way is that the right way that's the right way so it folds round here. This this is the front of the truck. So you can see the front of the truck there, um, and it just folds round and then the foot folds round at the back. I can't get it right round, and then it. it, it it becomes that so it's quite clever how they've actually done that um but he's really poseable he's got a massive um ab crunch you can see extends and stuff but everything about him i think he's actually a really nice part i think um he's got great articulation he's actually i'm actually very impressed with him he's one of the most impressive magic square bots that have come out in a long time um he's quite expensive but again you get the trailer and i haven't i haven't even mucked about this yet this obviously converts into a, a fully fledged robot like um Magic, uh, like X Transport does, and like um, X Nine here does as well. Um, but if, if this is as good as sorry, if this is as good as that, this is, then I'm I'm looking forward to with that as well. So um, yeah, really impressive for Magic Square. Um, so that's me. Throw hard. Thank you for the introduction. Hello and welcome back to Rohan's Corner. And this week I'm talking about combiners now you might ask why am i talking about combiners well the reason is because this year we've had a lot of war for cybertron individual figures and over the past few years we've had a lot of those but we haven't had any combiners in those lines and we haven't had any combiners since power of the primes and we had this big range of combiner wars figures which had a lot of the combiners in there with different kind of styling or different scales for the combiners and a lot of the third parties have picked up on the fact that hasbro have avoided the combiners for a few years and so there have been a lot of third party masterpiece legends and deluxe kind of scale combiners coming out there either undersized or oversized over the last few years if you just look at the masterpiece range we've had so many uh, reincarnations of Menasaur now that um, they're starting to stack up and now all the legends guys are starting to do them with magic square and mft announcing theirs more recently and if you look at devastator in, in the legends class scale new age and uh, magic square have announced theirs there's a legends class uh, superion coming which we've seen on the news on the show and from a masterpiece perspective there's there's hundreds of the large um, combiners out there which you can scale with your titan class figures from the hasbro mainline so my question to all of you is combiners do you like the concept do you enjoy the fact that you can combine multiple bots into one really large bot and what do you think of the concept is a combiner a character who combines with fellow characters to create a large bot or is it a combine or is a combiner someone who can combine with someone else to create a combined alt mode like the duocons for example or like some of the cassette bots from g1 and so on and so forth what is the sort of definitive uh, concept for a combiner 
So I have uh, my own thoughts on this. I think that um, characters like Reflector um, combine into one alt mode, and uh, I think that's really cool. But would I classify that as a combiner? Probably not for me. For me, I classify a combiner as a series of bots that combine together to create one large super robot, almost, if you like. Not to be confused with the Unitron Trilogy's uh, Energon storyline, where you had multiple uh, Autobots who could combine together, two of them together, one on top the other, and uh, create a super robot. I, I don't classify those as combiners. They're just sort of merging two bots together. It's not really creating a super bot in any way, shape, or form. However, if you go back to RID and you've got Rail Racer, then you've got three individual train bots who combine together to create a much larger ra rail racer um, combined super mode and so uh, it's more of a combiner so to speak they've got combiner weapons they've got combiner stature they've got combiner capabilities compared to the sort of standard kind of two bots combining together from unicron trilogies the Stunticons were certainly my favourite set of combiners. I just loved the alt modes and the daringness and their destruction capabilities in Generation 1. Although I can understand why a lot of people love Devastator, the construction vehicle, six bots combining, the very first combiner if you like. And in recent years, Hasbro have tried to create new combiners like Victorion and in the movie series from Bayverse, you've got the likes of Devastator and whatever that thing was in Age of Extinction. I don't really know, or the last night, whichever one it was, who cares. Um, but combiners have become a very big thing, and even the ca case that the GoBots had their own combiner in the Puzzler, which was a pretty cool combiner of its own, five cars that combined to a large robot. It didn't have very much uh, intelligence, but you know, sometimes that's the case with combiners, as we've seen. And even the case that, you know, Hasbro have been trying to create a new combiner other than Dinobots recently with Volcanicus. Personally, I don't really like the concept. I really don't like the shape and style of the combined mode from the Power of the Primes toy line of the combined Dinobots. But hey, it's another concept. It's quite cool that they're actually trying to push the boat out. Will we see more new combiners coming out? You know, maybe some dino combiners like we had in the original Beast Wars with Magna Boss or something like that, or maybe something from a post G1 series where they're gonna do something with some generation two or generation 1.5 characters where they could combine those together based off of what they've done with uh, re revolutionizing some of the original characters. Again, coming back to things like Kingdom Rodimus and the commander class there, it would be nice if they'd had some kind of complexity to the trailer to create some sort of combined mode with the robot or something that would have been an idea for Hasbro again well that's my take what's your take on it do you think that they are, are uh, combiners or not also what do you think about all these combiners coming out and do you think we should be getting a new range of combiners to match in with our war for Cybertron trilogy figures because realistically this is now the de facto standard for our figures in the sense of scale and in the sense of styling and I just don't feel like the combiner wars figures cut it from that perspective how do you feel about it Anyway, for another week, this has been Rohan on Rohan's Corner. I'd like to see you again next week. Catch you then. Back to the studio. Hey boys, we've been rumbled. Well, let's bounce. <laughs> Thanks, Rohan. That was awesome. Um, right, so our discussion is on now. Our discussion time. So today we're going to talk about the perfect Transformers that exist. Andy, how did we get to this um, location of discussion? Alexis suggested it and nobody had any better ideas. No, um, <laughs> <laughs> no, there was a post put, I think uh, it was in Transformers Unlimited, wasn't it? And Ed, oh, Chandler. Ed Chandler. Ed Chandler, thank you. I knew it was an Ed. Um, he posted about, is there such a thing as a perfect bot, a perfect version of a character? And he did a comparison between, I think it was a masterpiece uh, version of Hot Rod, the DX9 version, and the Studio Series 86 version. And for each one, he wrote a little mini review and he said what was good about it and what could be improved. And, you know, it was coming out at the end of it, is there such a thing as a perfect bot? And I think, Ed, please feel free to correct us, but I think Ed's point of view was that none of them were perfect, but they all had good things about them. And I think he made a comment about how the Studio Series 86, for example, is that good. It deserves to be in your collection, no matter what scale you collect, but it's not perfect. Like, 
you know a, a lot of figures and i think that's the thing it's do you do, do does any of us feel that we've ever got a figure that is the perfect version of that character could not be bettered that's it bought it you'll never have to buy another one i think sometimes you think it don't you like you pick up like i remember picking up titan's returns and picking up some of those characters were amazing and i'll never get another one um, for me, um, so what, what was the perfect transformer? What does it need to have? It's got to have a, it's got to have a brilliant alt mode um, with no kibble, no bloody hands, Huffer sticking out. It's got to have. Now shut up! It's got to have um, a really good robot mode, which looks like the um, cartoon. And it's got to have a good transformation, so uh, intuitive and enjoyable transformation. Those three things, I think, if you do them to the nth degree, that gets you the perfect transformer. Why are you C shape face? No one thinks C shape face is good. And anyone says, says word, pretends to word, say he says good is just lying. I don't know what he's about. C shape face. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, he, but he, he's all right. Um, I think I think the problem is that you, it, you can't say there's a perfect figure necessarily because each of us has, has our own individual expectations of what we want that figure to be. So what might be a perfect figure for you, Paul, might be. Hmm so great for jamie or you know alexis might agree but i might say no nah, it's not quite for me it's it's very um subjective isn't it because it's it's about what you're looking for from that figure it's the reason why something like huffer which we discussed before which you said yourself the bot mode was great but you didn't like the vehicle yeah. mode which i actually agree with i think the bot mode is just tremendous oh, I can really just, great bot mode. but the bot the vehicle mode on at least the, the version that obviously i've got is it just doesn't quite sit right and it just it just annoys me enough to make sure that I, I could never say it was the perfect version of the figure but mm. then i saw somebody else with theirs and theirs was sitting completely flat and they said they were probably more happy with the vehicle mode than they were with the robot mode well, so it's no, subjective isn't it sometimes i think i think with the the chugs we suffer from the quality control issues which i think mm. they bought more than the design you know for example i've got the two dino bots and um one sits really perfect transformed, the other one's a bit of an angle, and it kind of pisses me off. That's like sort of deviation. No matter how it fix, it's just because the way it's been screwed down, it's screwed in a bit to one leg a little bit higher than the other, and that just causes enough of an offset. Yeah, this, uh, the QC issues, we've talked about this probably God knows how many times on there, but uh, the QC issues with the Hasbro figures, you know, it's a, it's a mass, mass made um, figures, and you, you you might get lucky sometimes and you might be unlucky others certain figures you're more likely to be unlucky than you are lucky because they just seem to be problems with whatever aspect of it that is and it just comes up all the time um what, what one like that is titan's return weird wolf i was really chuffed when i got titan's return weird wolf i thought it was a really good mm. updated version of the character i like the fact you know it it was so similar to the original but with so so much better articulation and everything else looked like the character really please that bloody canopy that breaks almost <laughs> every time and it, yeah. it, it'll be fine you'll transform it loads of times i saw people who were saying oh yeah mine's fine mine's not got that problem and then like a week later oh yeah i transformed it it just snapped it just there's something there isn't there sometimes but if you if you if you're saying or if we're asking is there a perfect version of a figure i can't think of one that i would say is 100 percent perfect but there's a lot that are close or at least so for me I, there are i've got one which is close i think which is a transformer which to me is just one of the closest things you can get to a perfect transformer so this is new age uh, their seeker, their version of their seekers. Yeah, it's quite hard to see on camera, but the jet mode is sublime, and the robot mode is sublime as well. It's like brilliant on f uh, both modes, with an amazing transformation. So when I think back to that sort of perfection, that to me is probably the closest I've ever got, and it was so close because I, I didn't even collect Legends at the time. I picked it up; it was the first Legends robot I ever got. It was enough to then to start changing my whole collecting. Uh, direction i then went into legends and ended up being full on onto legends so for me to have that impact on the way you collect is i had no interest at all in collecting legends but to pick up a transformer um i think um, i remember alexis showing it on the show and he was saying similar things like the way it transforms is different so the way the legs will go into themselves and all fold up um is 
innov- innovative and things we haven't seen before in Transformers. Um, so to me, that's, pro- that's probably the closest I've got to a sort of almost perfect Transformer. When I try and think of what can I improve on it, I can't really think of anything to improve on it. Um, the paint is, is metal, it's detailed. Maybe the price is a bit high. It's £45, uh, which for a Transformer, which is quite small, is probably a bit too much. But for me, it's definitely worth it. Like the forty-five pounds is nothing compared to how good of a robot he is in all modes and transformation. He's it's interesting though because you you often talk about the complexity of the transformation and how intuitive it is and how much you really enjoy that. And there's times when I still hark back a little bit to the to the days of like almost G one where you could transform them so quickly and with so little fuss. You know that was part of the um appeal of g1 transformers mm. was that you could get from one mode to the other really quickly just like in the show you know in that time it takes to make the, the bar, transformation the oh well, even quicker in the throttle bot or um <laughs> a jump starter exactly and you know runabout right, and run amok you know they were so quick and yet you then you compare them to the modern versions of runabout and run amok which are great looking figures but a, a hill to transform to and <laughs> probably the worst yeah. to transform at the new line but talking about g1 i think in many respects, this is maybe why I like Inferno. It's maybe, you know, one of the most perfect versions because perfect homage to G1, you know, looks so much like it from memory. The transformation is virtually the same, mm-hmm. you know, and to be honest, it's, it's, it's like, there's not real evident gaps in it. I mean, obviously there's gaps, but, you know, they're not that evident. They're not that clear. as like, that's just a massive gap, you know, just because of the way the mold works and the way the fact is the hands can flip around and you can have assortment of connections so you know it kind of almost fills in that problematic bit of a gap there you know and and because it can turn around obviously the hands disappear so you can't really see a divisional bot in the fire truck mode the accessories all connect to the bot so they don't need to get lost the only thing i would say is maybe the gray could have been more white or of a chrome finish um, but you know, I guess with the chrome finish, that can mark more, that can scratch, that can come off. The white might not be such a strong plastic to use. But um, as the bot mode goes, you know, it, you know, ankle tilts, you know, articulation, it's brilliant. They've even managed to design them more streamlined, so it looks less chunky as if he needs to go to Weight Watchers. You know, it looks he's much a, more like a strong bot. He's a great shout, Jamie. Because I was just looking around when we were talking about it. I was starting to think, well, which bots that we've picked up recently actually would come close to that? And uh, Inferno, I honestly, if you actually saying that it's really hard to find a perfect bot, he's up there in that sense that there's really so little that I would change about that figure at all. The the Everything about it, the posability, the look of it, the transformation, just the feel of it, everything about it is spot on. Just listen to you guys. I was going to say, just listen to you guys. So obviously, you know, Paul, the one thing you said about the Seeker Mold potentially was the price. The one you've got behind you, the the Gold Lagoon one, I think they've released, re-released something like that around that. And and now you, you can't get one of those new for less than £70. So it, it, for a Legends figure, um, Jamie, the Inferno, but I think, I know it's in, in, in I behold, it's perfect. Again, I think someone's released fillers for those as well so potentially someone wants to make i don't think it needs to the fillers for just no I, I i no i i i i i don't have an opinion i'm saying there is filler attachments to it as well from what i'm hearing from you gentlemen when where you speak about it is it sounds like you can get a perfect mode so you can potentially get a perfect alt mode a perfect um bot mode or a perfect transformation or you can or get two of the three the holy grail appears to be you know bot transform alt and then reasonable price again because again i can say that a lot of the mp figures have great modes but again you're, you're paying the, you're paying the price point or you're paying the transformation as well it's it's but we'd pay for the perfect transformer wouldn't you uh, well mm. well the new Optimus prime right which is 700 pounds self-transforming does, your, does your dishes <laughs> yeah. it's just, not worth give, that you're paying no, for the technology you, you're not paying it's you a, a great figure 69. Yeah, you're paying for the technology and the novelty. I mean, I look at Hot Rod, and to me, in many respects, just because of the articulation, hands opening up, you know, the goggles coming down, the little touches, the little add ons he brought, it made that a fantastic, fun figure. And then the alt mode is quite good as well, it gets in there, it's quite nice. The trouble is, you could always say the back, you know, if they just painted that red, it would disappear more rather than being so obvious. 
and that's the only thing I could say about that hot rod is just the back. That's know, the thing, though, isn't front, it? Like, it, not perfect. As, as, as individuals, I actually found find that hot rod. It's it's I'm not going to say boring. That's not the word I mean. But it's like it's too perfect. Like I I feel I feel like yeah. I almost need a bit of imperfection it's in like the transformer porcelain. to give it character. It's just like everything is so good on it, but that's almost I don't know. It just doesn't. Sometimes I feel like that with me, Len. <laughs> oh. Big shout out to May Lynn. He's just won some brownie points. He's also about to text you to bring him some beer. So, you know, <laughs> don't get angry. But no, I do. I think that hot rod is, some people would say that is literally the perfect rendition of that character. But I just, I feel like I need a bit. I was saying before about Titans Return Hot Rod. I still like that. I still like, the, I think the car mode looks fantastic. Mm. Um, the bot mode is fine for me. I, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I, is it perfect again? No, but it's got a bit of character to it, and I think that maybe that depends again on being subjective. It's for me, I need a bit of character to the figure. This to me is a really good hot rod bot mode, but the car mode is not as good as Takara. I think obviously Ed said it in his post. Is that DX9? No, no. So this, so, 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 so sorry, I do want to correct you earlier, but this is so it's fans' toys Hoodlum, which is a hot rod. Now, this has shoulder issues. Now, Sean Misselbrook offers the shoulder articulation, so you can't get much. That's about it with the shoulder movement. But you can get an attachment again, so not perfect, because someone's made a, a, a third-party part which goes into here to give you better articulation. But the car mode isn't sleek. And uh, Takara made a really can, can cool car mode. Question, uh, Alex? Yes, please. Just after you do that, because that's good. I'm I'm a, a bit, I'm a bit drunk, so I might have missed it. So I apologise, but I know Andy's perfect, perfect transformer or close to perfection. I know Paul's close to perfection transformer. I've said mine. What is yours? And please give me an answer. I would say <laughs> mine. I've got two. Okay, good. and I ca and I can't split them because again, I think they're very good, but because I think. And I guess what it is, is I I've, I had them both as G1 toys. And I appreciate them um, thoroughly in the cartoons. And when I've got them in the MP modes, I still think they are phenomenal today. And they do hold up. And I haven't replaced them. I don't think I would replace them. Um, but And I, I've got a caveat. Okay, so the first one is fans, is right by my head, which is fans toys Phoenix. I can... Jetfire, Skyfire. Correct. Yes. So as as so this guy here is quite one of the early editions, and he is pretty much too inaccurate for what you want. And if you look at how he how he is, generally sculpt, everything else, backpack, everything is pretty much on the money. And he converts into a one I've shown him on it before in his jet mode, and he looks phenomenal. And he's got a lot about him that is really good. And his transformation's fun. It's not complex. He transforms like he does in the cartoon. So he's my number one. And the other one I've got is there. I'm not going to get it now because he's too, too high up. Um, and you're small. Bird got, oh, the bird's in the way. The bird's in the way. All right. So behind <laughs> that bird is Grimlock. Fans toys. Grimlock. So what fans toys Grimlock. What was the logic of the bird again? It was to scare away something. Oh. Oh, the boys. The, my, boys. my children. <laughs> so, it's like it's better than a sofa. <laughs> it's a haunted. It's haunted. So anyway, so um, so you're giving your kids better. psychological trauma to protect <laughs> oh, your transformers. He wasn't the playroom, locking uh, no. them out the room, <laughs> or scaring them out. So, so, so fans always. Actually, I can get him. A dedicated transformer fan. That's what you want to be. <laughs> Start psychologically scar my own children so they <laughs> yes. don't touch these things. And remember, if you touch Daddy's transformers, I the boogeyman up. will come after you. This is not. This is not fan toys grinder. This is Giga Power. Not, he's not the best one. I've got him because I think the Dinobots in rope in dinosaur mode got bigger. So I got this, these guys because they're bigger. Fan toys grinder is actually up here. You, <laughs> oh, awesome. So, got that wrong, didn't I? This is Fan Toys Grinder, aka Grim Look a bit dusty at the moment. I need to clean. This is Grim. This is, is that Grimlock. his actual name, Grinder, or do you just like that name? Yeah, no, his actual, his actual name is Grinder. Okay. Um, so, if you, if you look though, how he how he stands, he hasn't got a backpack. He's got his shoulders. 
God, he's just like a heavy arm. Look, 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 look at the inside. Like, everything just folds away perfectly. And he's, he's got his articulation. He has his thumb going, me, Grimlock. Me, Do you know he's King. just like the Hasbro Grimlock to me? The new one. No. Well, I haven't, um, I haven't compared them uh, directly. So I've got this guy for, for dino mode and this guy because he is bigger in rock mode. So there's not much in it, but there is a little bit in it. So is he perfect? Yes, but I would like it to be bigger in dino mode. But he is so well, Then good. it's not perfect. <laughs> well, that's the point, right? This is subjective objective But this guy... Is he perfect? Yes. But there's loads of things they could do to make him better. <laughs> now, this you understand guy here, the meaning of perfection, right? This guy here, as close as you can get to the actual... He, he's really good. But again, is he a perfect Transformer? He's okay he, as a Transformer. I would say that. Okay. He's okay. <laughs> is he a perfect Transformer? Yes. Six out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> Siege Jetfire. No, is that better? No, because no, I have more fun. Do you know what? I'm just one... glad you gave me two answers. I'm happy. I don't know. Because <laughs> I have more fun with like the Springer ones. The Springer ones are transformed back and forth. Why didn't you fucking fun. pick that one? <laughs> no, because just... no, again, they're different in all different modes. There's too many. So, there's anyone got any I, honorable I mean... mentions? I'd probably go for Magic Square Huffer. He's a blind. I saw that. Headmaster RC. Headmaster RC. <laughs> <laughs> if you've been All playing right. every time I turn around from the screen Siege Ape Face appears that'll be my last week You'll on the show you watch I... and see <laughs> you minges I wondered why Alexis had the Siege Ape Face at hand so readily oh, well it's for my sons I for mean, Christmas Jay, yeah. would, would you say any of the MMC bots that you've got which uh, for, um, DJD are perfect as bots for their their characters um, Tarn yeah, Tarn for uh, Kultur for 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 what he is. I'd say I'd I'd say um, I'm biased just because I love the color scheme and if I yeah. Luminous for his bot mode, I just again I think that's part of the reason why Studio Series eighty six Hot Rod didn't grab me as much was because I just see more personality in that Calidus. I mean, to me, it has to be Inferno just because I love the character. I have a homage to mm. the character. He's an unsung hero of the Wreckers in many respects, you know. Oh, he's definitely a racker, isn't he, RJ? Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, I, and, I, and to me, to have a character which is so faithful to the G1 and be better and improve on it, and yet uh, I, I just think it's brilliant. You Are know, we in agreement Chaz. then? Factory Chaz is probably another one. Are we in agreement that there is no such thing as a perfect figure, but there's figures that are perfect to yeah. us as individuals, or at least as close to perfect as we may get until the next one comes out in two years? Yeah. So are you saying that perfection is like scale or like <gasps> beauty, or what was the other one we did before? Beholders. Yeah, I and the beholder. Ah, cup holders. Cup holders. Uh, no, I disagree. I think new age <laughs> uh, seekers are perfect. <laughs> Oh, sorry. all wins. I am the king. Sorry, I forgot. I, I forgot. I'm in I got, charge. I got, I got this. Sorry, I bought, I bought this as well. This is um, Magic Square Prime X. Why is yours different to mine? Is that metallic? It's a metallic version, yeah. Ooh, shiny, Ooh. shiny. So I got a second He's hand a of Ed in the groups, and I thought it would go well for the metallic um, Megs. Uh, and it, it, I couldn't pick it up but anywhere, and then 60 quid. And it's, it's, cool. um, it's, it's not even unboxed, he said, so which is awesome. So, And that, that's an example of a, a brilliant Transformer. And they made a masterpiece copy of it, didn't they? Transform Elements, because it was such a good Legends figure. It was Magic easy. Square made, Magic Square, but yes. Yeah. Isn't it called Transform Elements Optimus Prime, though? No. The big one. No, no not the Magic so Square one. No, Magic Square made Light of Justice. Yeah. And then... Transform Elements made no, the big one. And they made Light something else of Justice. They made two. No, Magic Square made a small one and a big one, and then Transform Element, a different company, released one at the same time. Ah, oh, right. We're getting confused. So Magic Square was better articulated. Transform Element was better looking, like more too accurate. And then MP44 was again different again. So you don't better chat. Same, same, same as the Hot Rods, right? They're all different. None of them are perfect. So it's which it's more yeah, what do you go for? It? But I think a lot of us find a stuff that we have talked about perfect i find inferno perfect when you started talking about fellas i was thinking that's like putting lipstick on already beautiful girl why would you or beautiful man because i know you like men but you know um, it's well, making such a good point and then i was i can't remember what's your one it up 
let's <laughs> wrap this shit up and then we can play Fortnite. Right. Come actually, on. So actually, you know why you never say look a gift horse in the mouth? I learned that today. So apparently you never look a gift horse in the mouth because if you look at a horse in the mouth, you can tell a horse's age by its teeth. So you get given a horse as a gift. You don't look it in the mouth. Um... If it turns out to be an old horse, it disappoints apparently. <laughs> or it's never good. look a gift horse in the mouth. Cool. Uh, right, please follow well, us on Instagram, Facebook, Facebook, and Twitter. Um, head to Facebook to Facebook the group. No, that's, that's not what's called. Facebook so don't the head there. <laughs> Facebook the group. Go to Facebook the group. <laughs> really which we page run. that one. Uh, Facebook <laughs> Transformers the show uh, on Facebook. Uh, they gave it up to us. <laughs> Twitter. What's the Twitters? TF Show UK. TF and Instagram. Show UK. Transformers the show. Oh, cheers! Thanks, Zor Rider, for last week. Uh, show 69 of what? Uh, go and talk about your narcos. Do you remember Naruto? <laughs> Do you remember the Naruto conversations, Alexis, at TFN? All of them. Oh, is it, is it just the I, end I, I remember. I remember you Andy. sat with you sat with Claire for 45 minutes to explain <laughs> the entire story of Naruto. No, no, no. And then no, she no, said no. to me, "He's just told me all about some Japanese thing, and he, he just he's so passionate about him, but he just didn't stop talking for 45 minutes." I am now on episode 960, and now we're on to the From final Narcos? fight of oh, Naruto. Right. Naruto, we're on to the final just fight. Wait until you watch that game, 40 the episodes version. left. Oh. oh. I love that. Was it nine hundred and forty? And now we're on to the final fight. <laughs> That's yeah, a bit like Yu-Gi-Oh, though, because you get to episode nine hundred and forty of Yu-Gi-Oh, and you actually get onto some kind of fight instead of them just just standing do, do there talking at each other every time, do not explaining compare. what cards they've like, got and what they do. This is nothing like Yu-Gi-Oh. This, this is, is my actual... legendary dragon. If I oh. cast this card, your brain will explode. Unless, of course, you have a defensive potion of mushrooms. I can never get into Yu-Gi-Oh. I have a defensive you... potion of mushrooms. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh is like a... Oh my god, for Christ's sake, fight. Then Slap him. Shoot him in the face. Do something. something. Yu-Gi-Oh is like a poor man's excuse Ben, ben Stiller movie, right? Um, what? It's like... Like, we do Naruto, this quickly. We can Naruto, play Naruto, Fortnite. Naruto is like, it's like a Jet Li. He's like... <laughs> We quickly do the show. Yeah. Anyway, I, I'm Fortnite. sorry. I apologise. I shouldn't have gotten talking about Naruto as well as Narcos. That's it. That's it. Now that's the evening gone. <laughs> the Naruto and go Narcos beer. podcast. If we're if we're, if we're starting to go get some beer, I haven't any beer, so I haven't drunk any beer. So Did you not so. assume at any point we would be starting? By the way that we got online <laughs> yeah, know, to start. 